get impressed by the things of God that does not carry God. The gown may not Jesus. carry God. The songs, the hymns may not be with God. Mm. The title may not carry God. What is important in all we do is not what we put on ourselves. No, it is what is in us. Amen. The pulpit is of God, but if anybody will ever use the pulpit for any other reason, the enemy will have his way through the very same pulpit. God can only operate through those he has assigned for the job. When God gets ready to do something, he anoints someone for the thing you want to do. Amen. The Bible says, now an old prophet mm, dwelt right there where Jeroboam had built the altar. The place that was polluted had a prophet. God, if this was already a prophet, why did you have to bring another from that far to come and deal with this matter? God has his. Oh, yes. He went after the men of God and found him sitting under an oak. Then he said to him, Are you the men of God who came from Judah? And he said, I am. Then he said to him, Come home with me and eat bread. And he said, I cannot return with you, nor go in with you. Neither can I eat bread nor drink water with you in this place. For I have been told by the word of the Lord, you shall not eat bread nor drink water there, nor return by going the way you came. This is the reason why I say beware of an old prophet. An old prophet has tricks and can trick you out of God. Right. This beautiful story that started from verse 1 to verse 10 has taken a different turn because of the deception of one who had lost the anointing. And you must be careful because many people will not achieve the assignment in God because of such people. Right. Well, you may not call her or call him or prophet, but uh, what is operating in him and her trying to get you off the rail is the same spirit that has been seen here. Right. Since you've been speaking to him or her, you lost the drive in your home cell. You're no longer interested. The zeal that you have in serving God when you first came is no longer there. I too am a prophet as you are an angel spoke to me by the word of the Lord saying bring him back with you to your house that he may eat bread and drink water he was lying to him mm. did you see that he was doing what he was lying now my precious in the Lord I want you to please pay attention that every one of us who operate in high assignment we have the do and don't in the Holy Ghost. Whatever he was saying had nothing to do with the law of Moses. Because you see, beyond just what is written, we hear the sound of the voice of God as long as the sound of the voice of God is not contradictive to the logos of God. We understand that God is leading us. For every prophet, God will put you to live within boundaries. Yes. There are things that you cannot be able to do if you will carry a certain anointing. Everyone who operates in this will tell you, there are certain places I cannot go. There right. are certain things I cannot do. They are not evil. Others can do it. But I cannot because... I am a Nazarite. Oh, yes. So, in the prophetic, there are certain things that the Lord spiritually will not ask us to do. And sometimes, those are just for a moment. There are times where they are permanent. Sometimes before a service, God will keep your mouth closed for two weeks. Speak to nobody. The price of the anointing. 
answer nobody. I'm just there. Mm. Speaking only to him. Coming to the service, I thank God for the anointed team I have who understands in the spirit. We don't speak when he doesn't speak. We just take him to do his assignment. And don't you meet me and say, how are you? Because I will answer you with mm, nothing. So if you are not trained to be close to such an anointing, keep away yeah. or else you will break your own heart. That's right. While all I am sacrificing for is for your own good. Thank you, Jesus. I need to do this so that I may always keep you high above any ritualist. Any devil worshiper. You, you are am I. You have a man of God. You have an intercessor. You have a prophet. And it is not a title. You have a Moses. You have one who labors before God for you. Yes. He was lying to him. A prophet that lies. Ah, oh, Jesus. Mm. I, I gotta come down. Come on, Papa. Glory to Jesus. Hear me. He was saying what was not truthful. You are saying what God did not say. He allowed the enemy to use his vocal cord to fulfill his own agenda against the man of God. The old prophet know how the spiritual realm operates and understand the consequences of certain things we do that makes them dangerous. So he understood that this young one did not fall like I failed. And to lead him out, I need to do what Balaam did to Balak. Lead him wrong and the wrath of God will come. Now the young prophet, who's not trained, heard that this one also heard from God. And this one has been in Bethel for a while. He has a CV. Hear me, if your CV does not produce anything for yourself, keep it for yourself. Don't show it to me. Yes. Nothing beats results. Right. Amen. You fail in it, you fail in it, you fail in it. The only thing you can tell me is how to fail in it so I may not go the same road. Nothing else. You have never driven a car. How do you know how to turn the steering wheel? How to hold it? You've never driven one. But you see, he was unexperienced. When he just heard that this one is also a man of God. They call him the old prophet. He fell for it. Not everyone with... Uh, a white collar represent a servant of God. Right. Because a white collar you can buy in the shop without showing a certificate. That's right. All they want you to do is pay. He broke spiritual rules. He broke it. And the consequences was judgment came on him. Mm. There are things you should never compromise. Never Amen. compromise. If you compromise those things, you are done. Ministry is done. Your future is done. There are zones you cannot afford to make a mistake in. Right. That's why you have to learn to lock your doors. 
There are certain areas you should not open to anybody to have influence in. You must be the one Lord of that area. Because the time will come where God will hold you accountable. Yeah. He will not hold your next door neighbor accountable. Right. He will hold you accountable. Samson got shot his assignment because he did what is forbidden. I'm not talking about the laws of Moses and this, and you should drink this and not drink that, or you should wear this and not wear that. I'm not into that. You want to put a tattoo? Don't, don't tattoo story me. It's not that. Oh, you feel like I want to be in an open restaurant and I have my beer. Really? Is that what you want? And you want me to waste a service talking about you taking that decision? <laughs> Count me out. I'm talking about beware an old prophet. My God. Oh, well, I'm taking him for a movie. What did the Lord say? Leave God out of it. Go to your movie. I don't know which movie are you watching. Is it a Christmas movie, Easter movie, Jesus movie, action, comedy movie? I'm not a movie preacher. I preach substance. Glory to Jesus. He broke spiritual rules. This is why, though we have Bibles, we preach hard and nothing is manifesting. Mm -hmm. Some people lay hands on you with strength, physical. Because I want to see a manifestation of you at least. And it's not manifesting. And they get violent, they push you. You ask yourself, is it wrestling or what? It became personal. Why? Many of us broke something. There are certain things you cannot trade. Right. Allah saying, you will not take me there to hell. Oh no. No. As long as I'm here, I have to do what I have to do. It doesn't matter if you are my hand. I will chop you out. It does not matter if you are my eye. I will root you out. Jesus. There is no friendship. There is no value there. No. If you are my own eye, I will root you out. There are certain things you cannot compromise with. He compromised. Yes. He went to eat. He went to drink. He did what God said, don't. And I hear this. Everybody is doing it. Everybody is doing this is not your cue. Because you are not everybody. That's true. Somebody holler, I'm not everybody. I'm not everybody. Say, I am too unique to do like everybody. I'm too unique to do like everybody. And now, the word of the Lord came against the prophet who was used to bring judgment to the king on the altar in Bethel. And now when God want to use, he uses everybody. He picks the very old prophet to tell him, mm, you have done wrong. You disobeyed the Lord. And because of this, the Lord has cut your life short. Judgment has come on you. Many have died too quickly. You know the Bible says, honor your father and your mother. And you will live long. Is the first commandment with a promise. You know what it means in the spiritual realm? To honor is to have reverence right. in thought and mind. And the result of it, you have longevity. 
Longevity physically, longevity in relationship, longevity in finance, longevity in everything you do. I receive it. Live in this honor. You will start, you will never finish. Nothing lasts with you. Nothing carries on because you broke a law. The first commandment with a promise, honor, honor. Don't just uh, love them, no, no. honor them, go an extra mile. You can never have access to what you do not own a spiritual law. Yes. Unless you own it, you cannot have it. Whatever you dishonor, you have aborted. Oh, Jesus, have mercy. Judgment came, and it is said, as this young prophet finished eating, this time the old prophet provided a donkey for him. You see, all they wanted was him spiritually. Mm -hmm. Some position, young prophet, young servant of God, refused to take it. Yes. You are the commercial leader of the platform of the evangelist of the planet Earth. <laughs> and you accept the position. We part of a certain big organization. The day you get it, you trade in something. I'm not saying that all the organizations are like that. I'm just saying certain organizations, certain staff. I'm just trying to find something that I will give you clarity in mind on what I'm trying to share with you. Do not sell what you have, what you carry yeah. for an offering. Keep your offering. In Jesus' name. Don't you sell it for favor? Don't you name of Jesus. sell it for anything? For friendship? For a ring mm. that was bought on lay by? Hey! Still claiming a big discount. You want to trade your altar? My God. What has happened to you? Hey. There are 8 billion people on earth. If this goes, the better one will come. Believe that. Don't be so desperate. Yeah. That you'll trade everything that you believe in, everything that you grow up in, just because of... Amen. I don't say that. I don't like your altar. I, I, I don't like your spiritual handle. I, I, I don't like his microphone. I, I don't like the white carpet. I don't like the, the, the I don't like this. You gotta choose between me and him. What do you say? I pray about it. Traitor. Jesus. You pray about what? Mm. Did you not see that the devil is right in front of you? Mm. That is not love. Yeah. That's the devil. Yeah. Disguised yeah. as an angel of light. Mm. You're telling Mr. Devil, I find you. Leave. Never return. And in fact, when you do things like this, you provoke the better yes. one to come because there must be a reward oh, for yes. what you have done. So, they provided a donkey for him. Now he's riding a donkey, probably the very donkey that the sons of the prophet had prepared for the father to go after him. And he also... You lack lift. Will you give me a lift? Jesus. They provided a donkey. And the Bible said, on his way, a lion came. Jump on him. And destroyed him, killed him. A prophet of God is killed. A young prophet. A man of God is no more. 
A lion came and killed the young prophet. Pulled his body and put it in the middle of the street. Did not touch the donkey and sat by the body. What just happened? In the beginning of the same chapter, he is in the anointing. But right as we go further, he is killed in the fulfillment of the very assignment. Killed by a lion. His body is not eaten. The donkey is not eaten. The donkey remained and the corpse of the young prophet was there and the lion beside it. And everybody that came by the road saw this and ran back to the city of Bethel where the old prophet was and say, there, there, there is a corpse there. Somebody died. There is a church that is closing. My God. And when this old prophet heard it, he said to himself, read at your own time. Certainly this is the body of the man of God who disobeyed God. He was the one used to mislead him. But he said, certainly this is the body of the man of God who disobeyed God and God brought judgment. And he went there, the Bible say, and he went and he took his body and saw that the donkey was still there. Certain things that happens bring judgment. You may not know. Was that really a lion? And if he was really a lion, was that lion operating in the mind of a lion? Or he became a prophetic lion fulfilling an assignment that he was spiritual? My God. There are certain things, certain elements in life when the spiritual inclines one way, they all inclines one way. A car can become an instrument of death. Jesus. Without any mechanical problem, you driving, it loses control. Was a lion lion that will not eat the body of his uh, uh, kill keeping the donkey alive the man of God came and took him and hear this and he went to mourn for him and buried him in his own tomb he took the young prophet and buried the young prophet in the tomb that was his. Whoever has a tomb and expect that you will be in it before him, fire. Fire! I say fire. Fire! They will not kill your marriage. They will not kill your children. They will not kill your family. They will not kill your elevation. They will not stop your growth. They will not stop your prosperity. They will not destroy your ministry. Whoever digs a grave for you, he will fall in it himself. At the count of three. One, two, three. Fire! Jesus. The young prophet was buried in Bethel. My God. The place God sent him for his assignment mm. by an old prophet's grave. Mm. And the old prophet dares tell his sons, when I die, please find a way to put me close to this one because this one was really of God. Jesus. Oh God. Beware of an old prophet. Beware of people who come to tell you things that are contrary to what comes from your altar. Beware. Yes. Beware of those who are champion of telling you, well, things are so bad. I'm just here because of God. Leave. Don't be here because of God. You can find God everywhere. He's Emmanuel. 
Jehovah Shammah is like, go, go. If it will work for you, go. An old prophet, if you are so unhappy, why are you still here? Why? Why? You are not indispensable. If you go, someone else will come. You're not indispensable. You, you have become too big. Right. You think that uh, I'm the man. No, you're not the man. Alive. We are all here to serve God. Yeah. Cool down. Or God will clip your wings. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm the man. I'm the man. You will go and nobody notice. <laughs> Remember when you went on holiday? We had the service. We also had lunch. And breakfast and dinner. And we are still here. Beware of those who tell you mm -hmm. nothing is working here. He's married and he's telling you your marriage is bad. Don't get married. But he's still married. I tell you. Why don't you divorce first? If it's that bad. Instead of stopping me. Who just starting? Give me a chance. Let me also come with my wedding gown and hear. Dun, 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 dun. Hey. Why discourage me before my time? Why? Enemy of progress. Old prophet. Do not know how to go about the things that God has said. And they discourage everybody that want to do that. You see, if you will accept that God is using him, it will be evident that he's not using you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you will accept that this is of God, maybe, just maybe, the feeling that you have to overcome will be such that tells you, maybe you don't have the same. Now, it takes humility to say, God is using him. I am next in the list of God. So instead of fighting it, I draw closer to it. This is how we learn. I don't have everything. Yes. I'm not an island. There are people out there that God has placed around all of us to bless us. There is no shame in being blessed by another tool. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, man. God is a good God. Amen. Oh, well, healing is not of God. I don't know about this healing. You see, when I was growing up, healing was not taking place in this way. The healing of today uh, leaves you question marks. The biggest question mark is you. <laughs> if you are with God, where is he? Mm. I'd rather be in a place where the question mark is uh, many miracles are taking place. Yeah. Rather being in a place where nothing is taking place. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. If I'm wrong, let me be wrong. In the place where the move of God was. Oh, yes. Rather than being the cold place, especially in winter. May the Lord see you through. I May the Lord bless it. you. May you survive it. the deception of the I false prophet. May you fulfill your assignment in, in the, the end. May the Lord use you. Use you in glory. Use you in power. In the name of Jesus. If you were blessed by this video, please share and spread the message on social media using the share links in this video. Be sure to like and share our videos with your friends and family. Tune in to catch his next sermon on the public channel on AMI-TV or on our live stream on AMITV.com. Keep up with all his latest updates by following him on social media platforms at Elflukawa.